And now to gas prices soaring again in Metro Detroit. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Experts say surging oil prices and the conflict overseas continue to push up prices at the pump. AAA Michigan reports the average price per gallon right now in Metro Detroit is 361. That's nearly a quarter higher than the average this time last week. 7 National News reporter Darren Cunningham live in Dearborn breaking down the daily rise in gas prices seemingly everywhere you look. Metro Detroit is at $3.61 a gallon for regular unleaded, right in line with the statewide average. But this gas station here in Dearborn on Michigan Avenue is at $3.43. It is getting really expensive. It is almost $4, so it is kind of depressing. Drivers feeling helpless. I don't know. I mean, what can we do? It's really OPEC and the whole global thing that's going on. It's, every time you use it when the price is jumping up, something catastrophic has happened. Now it's, you, now it's the Ukraine. Inflation out of their control. Just got to ride the wave. I think there's some places actually like 390, 393 already. So I'm sure we may be hitting that $5 mark. It wouldn't surprise me, man. It would not surprise me. With the war and everything that's going on, it's just going to get worse. And I, I drive for a living and I'm not even making enough to, to cover the gas so where I have a profit. So now I'm choosing between gas and groceries. Every driver we spoke with at this BP says this gas station in Dearborn is packed all the time because of cheaper prices. Earlier in the day, it was $3.37 a gallon. About less than a mile up the road, this Kroger charged $3.79 a gallon. Adrian Woodland, AAA spokeswoman. We're headed, having crude oil prices are hitting prices we have not seen in about eight years. So the rising crude oil prices are one of the major factors that are going into the rising gasoline prices that we're seeing here in Metro Detroit, in Michigan, and across the country. Patrick DeHaan, a petroleum analyst with GasBuddy.com, says a barrel of West Texas intermediate crude oil reached $111, only $36 from the all-time high. All of that happening because not only the Russia situation, but the transition to summer gasoline is also causing a big boost. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, 56% of what you pay at the pump is for the cost of crude oil. 15% goes towards various taxes. 16% are for transportation costs and retail costs, and about 14% are for refining costs. But the crude oil is certainly over half of what you're paying, and when the price of oil shoots up significantly like it has, that's going to hit you in the wallet, and that's what we're seeing with gas prices soaring. A few ways to save money at the pump. AAA says to combine errands in order to limit how often you're driving. Shop around for the best gas prices. Remove excess weight from your vehicle. Also, AAA says aggressive acceleration and speeding interferes with fuel economy. Lastly, consider enrolling in a savings program. In Dearborn, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, Darren, thank you.